Thank you, Most High, Divine Relatives, Divine Guides, as well as her self. Welcome back, Divine Feminine. Thank you for watching, okay? Let's go ahead and tap in. Thank you so much for all of um, my cash app, gifts, donations. All right, thank you so much for liking this video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and watching all the content. So let's jump in. Divine Spirit. Let's talk about a Divine Feminine. Who's coming towards you and why? Okay. Um, Divine Spirit, what would you like for me to communicate in this particular reading? Concerning who's coming toward Divine Feminine. Who is coming toward Divine Feminine? A Two of Pentacles. That's Capricorn energy. Do you have a Capricorn coming towards you? Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Four of Pentacles. Wow. The Four and the Two of Pentacles is the uh, Taurus energy. So you could have a Taurus or a Capricorn. So fire and earth. You could have a Taurus or a Capricorn coming towards you or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, this person could want to travel for you, Divine Feminine. I have the Eight of Wands. At the top of the deck, they can want to travel to you uh, for a new beginning, uh, a new romance, okay? This, for some of you all, is a gift from God. Uh, this person that's coming towards you, if they're a Taurus, or if they're coming in, because they're coming in to give um, equal give and take, you know? They want to balance out the situation. They want, yeah, they see you as this queen of wands. Yeah, they ultimately, they desire you. They see you as someone who is socially, like, elevating has um, being concerned about their friendship this is someone who could have lacked uh, true discernment about who you are and what position you play in your life but now that um you have distanced your energy from this person like i said you're focused on other connections outside of them and they see that and now they want to um be sure that they balance out some type of connection with you this person could have been juggling you in the past as well and that's another reason why they want to come back in because they do feel guilty for for such all right so we have capricorn taurus aries leo sagittarius i cannot make it up the six of pentacles here again yes if, it, if it's a capricorn that was juggling you in the past they do want to come back and um master some form of um it could be some form of stability with you or just they want to like balance out their emotions for the situation because they see that you know it's not working in their favor whatever is going on behind the scenes okay mm -hmm. they could want to get you pregnant too this is someone from your past high priestess energy all right this person sees you as this high priestess divine feminine someone with sacred um intuition sacred knowledge and ultimately like, this has uplifted you in some type of way out, out really out of this person's hair that i'm hearing like um if what is that saying there's a saying it's like um i just want to get this person out of my hair all right some of you all could have changed your hair complete change whether it's color whether it's a cut whether you cut all your hair off whether you went natural whether you permed your hair curls your hair whatever i'm hearing that this person sees you as someone who's um different from when they were i guess in your energy in the past all right and at the end of the day they see you this high priestess they see you as someone who moves off of intuition it's like they know that you go within and then you make decisions and this is ultimately it's it's intriguing them they want to know what the hell you know okay they, they feel like they wronged um like we're, we're all important but but they know that you're important to god and they feel that they have wronged one of god's um divine um beings and now they just they want to make it up they want to really come in and they really want to show the universe like hey i'm a good person too hey i can do right by divine feminine please give me another opportunity for some of you all this person is actually praying for another opportunity all right they're having the tower moment as they realize that they lacked all right the spiritual discernment on who you are and how to uh treat you divine feminine for some of you all you don't really care i'm hearing that loud and clear for some of you all yes this person may have lacked the compassion lacked 
uh, the social skill set to uh, intellectually intrigue you or keep you um, and mentally stimulated. For some of you all, that's what I'm hearing. This person didn't talk much. They, there's things that they just would not do. And being emotionally vulnerable was one of them. Or being intellectually like open-minded was another of them. Uh, one of them as well like for some of you all I'm actually hearing a whole conversation to where it's like you would bring up topics to this person and they would often downplay them but I'm hearing that you were thinking like oh wow this person thinks I'm strange or oh this person is just doesn't vibe with me no they downplayed the conversations because they didn't have anything to um respond about okay this person was ignorant to the topics that you were intrigued by this person felt intimidated uh they felt that they just could not measure up when it came to your um the way you you conversated so this is another reason why for some of you all y'all don't care you felt that this person showed you a lack of interest when in reality they were just intimidated because they didn't know about the things that you were speaking about this is kind of childish ace of wands again wow we got the three of pentacles with the six of pentacles all right they see you as someone so singly abundant and sufficient and they want to be in the same energy you know the ace of wands here this person has plans to come towards you the divine this, they feel divinely led because the ace of wands is a gift from god okay and they feel divinely led to do this like i said they want to bring in justice because it's like you had gave it to God and gave it, God had gave it back to them. And now they're like, oh shit, I'm in trouble with the divine. Let me go back and um, let me clean it up a little bit. You can okay, the queen of swords tried to show themselves. And yeah, look at this. We got the cancer with the five of cups. So for, the, for that person that showed a lack of interest and they were realizing what they were doing and how they were moving. Okay, that person is sad. They, I mean, like you have been strong when i seen the queen of swords with the chariot I, I feel that some of you all set strong boundaries this person is realizing that and that and they're sad ultimately because they thought that eventually your boundaries that wall that you built between them would come tumbling down and it has not okay it has not and they and they know that you're going to continue to be persistent in your efforts to um keep minimal or limited contact from them all right they don't know what to do okay they don't know what to do let's get um a few karmic oracle cards and then i am going to um close it out who's coming towards you and why somebody wanting to balance out the situation somebody yeah probably should look spirit magic involving and invoking spirits so this person could have been trying to call them some type of uh, energy. Yeah. Your sisters could be jealous. There could be a jealous sister coming towards you. Let me see. The Ace of Wands. That's a side note for some of you all who have a fire sign sister, Aries in particular. Okay. Um, high Priestess energy. Thank you so much. Yeah, this person is obsessing in the background. I seen poverty stricken twice. Yeah, so it's letting me know that they they had a poverty like mindset. All right, and they're trying to they're realizing that they had this poverty mindset, but they're trying to release it. But in 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 the wake of them trying to release it, they're like battling some type of obsessive behavior shit obsessive energy they're obsessing over this you know why because they feel ashamed look at this shit they feel ashamed you know like i didn't know they didn't know like they didn't know that you were so divine you know what i'm saying i'd rather take the toxic lifestyle so this is someone who did not want to elevate socially spiritually and you left them um in the wind in the wind of their own chaos you know that didn't i tell y'all didn't i tell y'all this person could want to get you pregnant there could be someone else pregnant okay whoever they went towards um could be pregnant as well i didn't want you to be spiritual because i knew you would find out my dirt and the high priestess is right here they like oh shit i done wrong one of god's divine messengers you mean to tell me that chick that was talking about all that cosmic shit you mean to tell me that she's actually double protected from the divine and she know my goddamn secrets 
see this is for some of y'all this person okay bye yeah that's it that's that's the ending to it they didn't want you to practice spirituality they didn't want you to be woke they didn't want you to be spiritually elevated because they already know they was getting ready to be found out and this is why they feel ashamed mm -hmm. oh we what i did to you has been done to me so that person sitting up there acting like they didn't want to have conversations with you showing a lack of emotion and now they're with someone who could possibly be pregnant for some of you all not all of you all going to resonate with that part of who's coming towards you but um for some of you all yeah this person sit up there with somebody pregnant that they don't have an emotional attachment to and that is being just as cold as them you know and look look what this person want to say I'm sorry for the lies. I see the error in my ways. True magician. They see the error in their ways. They were like, at the end of the day, it's like this person sit up here and try to invoke some type of spirit magic or spirit, um, I don't know. Spirit magic. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know what spirit magic is. Maybe this person was doing some type of crown chakra magic to and invoke some type of feeling for them like they wanted you to feel the way you used to feel for them so they were trying to pull a wool over your eyes or present some type of illusion to your crown chakra i'm not for sure how but that's what they were doing and and it's like damn you were doing this on a true magician you're the true magician divine feminine but like I said, they didn't know. And this is why they're feeling ashamed as they're having a tower moment and realizing like you cannot infiltrate the high priestess <laughs> crowd chakra. Okay, she's too high vibing. And this person is ultimately sad, like period. All right, Divine Feminine. All right, um, this is your reading. Until next time, Ashe, be well. Bye.